I once got work permit to work as a blueberry picker in Australia. I picked all summer, autumn, and then helped with farm work in the winter. It was easy to get the job as I was already in Australia when I applied. If you are not in Australia during application and you are willing to get a fruit picking job in Australia, you can apply through www.fruitpickingjobs.com.au or other websites like indeed.com.au where you can find visa sponsorship jobs. Before we continue, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel so that you can keep getting information on Australia farm and professional job visas. To work as a fruit picker, you will need a TFN number, bank account number, and be a legal worker and worker. The work is on a casual basis, you can choose to work or not work. And if it rained, no work. I joined a friend for a few days for pocket money. Coming from a lab, it was nice to have a job which you could simply just do it without thinking. Just pick and pick, no thinking. No hurry, just work. It was also good bonding with my friend. The work comprised picking the blueberries. The more you pick the more you got paid. You were paid by the kilograms. If you are a fast picker you can make good money. Recently, and the blueberries were good, my friend picked over 100 kilograms in one day. From time to time packers were needed. This was paid at minimum wage. And during the winter my friend helped with pruning, cleaning, weeding and such like on the farm. Fruit picking is a common activity during seasons. You have apples, kiwi fruit, strawberries, cherries, watermelon, peaches, pears, plums, grapes, apricots etc. These are just a few I can recall. You also have veggies that come into season that need to be picked. I once did asparagus. The work is tough. Don't walk in with fancy ideas. You could work a day shift that starts as early as 4 a.m. and keep going till noon. Each picker has a minimum quantity that must be picked. Over and above the minimum quantity a bonus kicks in. Things like strawberries means you are bent down across your spine and doing this for 8 hours can be backbreaking. Wonder if the expression came from that particular job. The good side is that it's not in the hot sun, although other seasonal fruits can be in the burning sun. Lots of migrants head to the orchards and fields to take on these jobs. The pay supplements the income and often is the only income available in a tight job market, where low skills are in demand. Contractors import migrant workers from nearby Pacific Islands and they are given special visas for the duration of the season. It's fun if you want some fun and earn a few dollars. Lots of students, especially student travelers from overseas head to orchard areas to take jobs make money and then see a entire country. There is always work to be had and you need to find it in the locals papers. As a lifelong career, fruit picking may not be the best, unless you are that way inclined. Enjoy the sun and shade and count your pennies. Accommodation can be just a shed at the edge of the fields, or a car parked up nearby. Farmers are nice people. Food is usually sausage rolls or mince pies in the nearby cafe. Lots of fruit pickers club together and cook up their meals as a collective. Indians do a great job and are hard workers too. A good spicy curry will take you a long way. Chapitas and Dahl sustain that energy. It's fun if you want it that way. It won't be easy owning the spacious mansion on the hill on a fruit picker's wages, but nothing wrong with dreaming. Are you a traveler looking to visit Australia and experience all the country has to offer without burning through your savings? Fruit picking jobs in the agriculture industry may be the perfect opportunity to strike a balance between work and play, and right now, seasonal work is ripe for the picking from coast to coast. Agri Labour Australia has a wide range of roles available for travellers to fund their adventures down under, providing they have the correct work visa. Most fruit picking jobs are found in regional and remote areas of Australia where much of the nation's fresh produce is grown. These positions are a great way for temporary foreign workers and locals alike to explore and experience all that a regional lifestyle has to offer. If you're ready to make money while exploring a new environment, Short-term agricultural work may be the answer. Often the process begins with a simple application. Before taking that step, however, it's important to make sure that you know the realities of fruit picking and what to expect. Whether you've worked in the field before or not, it's only natural to have a few questions. Perhaps you're wondering, if you're considering funding your Aussie backpacking trip with a job in the agriculture industry, you may have a few questions about the process of finding work. For example, our candidates often want to know, what skills do I need to become a fruit picker? How do I become a fruit picker in Australia? How much do fruit pickers earn in Australia? Where can I find the best fruit picking work in Australia? What else is there to do while I'm in Australia? To help you pick the right job for you and get your working holiday started sooner, We've collated the answers to each of these questions below. What skills do I need to be a fruit picker? Physical fitness, the ability to work quickly and consistently for long periods of time, and a can-do attitude. 
are the most sought after qualities in workers on fruit farms. Fruit picking jobs can be physically demanding, often requiring workers to make repetitive physical movements like squatting, bending and climbing ladders. The workers best suited to these jobs are those who genuinely enjoy practical work. While speed on the job is important, especially in piece rate jobs, workers must be nimble enough to practice gentle harvesting techniques and pick fruit without causing damage to the produce. It's also important that workers have enough basic knowledge of fresh produce to separate and discard fruits, showing signs of decay or insect infestation. Finally, flexibility in terms of working hours is also essential, as working hours will often depend on the amount of produce waiting to be picked. How do I become a fruit picker in Australia? Many fruit picker jobs in Australia do not require experience or industry-relevant qualifications, which makes them ideal for enthusiastic young travelers. While there are several potential pathways into fruit picking work, it's important to keep compliance in mind. Go through a recruitment agency. In the agriculture industry, contacting a specialist recruitment agency is the best way to make sure that you secure work with a compliant organization. A good agency will advocate for you during the application stage, assist you with acclimatizing to your new environment, and give you all of the information and support you need to be successful in your new job. Apply via a job search website. Websites like Seek and Indeed often list farm work jobs, fruit picking positions included. Unless you are familiar with the employer in question, taking this approach to job applications in the agriculture industry involves some inherent risk in terms of ensuring compliance and negotiating agreements. If you decide to take this approach, be sure to carefully check the details of each listing in the contract information. How much do fruit pickers earn in Australia? The pay fruit pickers receive will depend on the pay structure, whether piece rate or hourly wage. Jobs paid at an hourly rate offer the benefit of compliance paying at or above the industry standard minimum wage. While piece rate workers now also receive a minimum hourly wage, the pay structure still incentivizes workers for speed and efficiency, allowing them to increase their earnings. Either way, it's important that candidates have a good understanding of what they will be paid before applying for or accepting a new job. Where can I find the best fruit picking work in Australia? While fruit pickers are needed across the country at different times of year, job availability depends on the weather conditions and the fruit being harvested. The latter is determined largely by the season, and while peak picking season generally runs from December until May. This timing can vary based on conditions. In the southern states, from South Australia to Victoria and New South Wales, November to February is peak picking time, whereas the season typically lasts until May in northern Queensland and New South Wales. With limited accommodation available, it's also important to consider housing as a key factor when applying for and accepting jobs. Increasingly, workers are turning to nearby towns for accommodation within easy traveling distance of their workplace. Want the pick of the best jobs in Australia? There there's so much to explore around Australia, and with harvests ongoing throughout the year, fruit picking is a great way to achieve your travel goals. With a fruit picking job that aligns with your travel plans, you'll have the opportunity to experience life on the land like so many of the candidates who have become part of Number Maya Griffinally. To find out more about what it's like to work in the Aussie ag industry, check out candidate testimonials or read stories from our past candidates on our blog. Talk to the agricultural recruitment specialists. If you're looking for work in the Australian agriculture industry, Agri Labour Australia has a wide range of opportunities to suit your skills and preferences. They have been recruiting workers in the agricultural industry since 2010, and their candidate care policy makes them an employer of choice for thousands of workers across their international networks. When you secure a position with Agri Labour Australia, you don't just take a job you become part of a family. 